Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets and today I'm going to take a closer look at the actual audio side of the Sony XZ, sorry, Xperia XZ Premium and go through what headphones you can use, can you use external DACs and that sort of stuff. So let's go and take a closer look at the options first and then we'll go and talk about headphones. Okay, so I'm just going to look at some of the specific audio sound settings for this phone so you can see what options you have. Now the first thing is obviously you can go into an accessory setting where it has options for automatic optimization. So this is something that you should try. It does work quite well for some phones. If you've got the right headphone you can also have the noise cancellation working with this phone as well. If you've got here, as you can see, it says LDAC. So if you have a, in particular, Sony Bluetooth headphone, it will give you the higher bitrate quality Bluetooth playback option. That's nice. On the mic sensitivity, it's an option that's often missed. You can adjust the sensitivity for the mic. So you can actually say whether it's you know, high for a quiet or spacious room, e.g. lectures, medium. It's got an auto setting, but if you're at a rock concert, you might want the mic sensitivity low so it doesn't distort. Again, quite nice to have. And again, this really should be in the main uh, settings for the camera, but it's not. I don't know why. On the audio side, you first of all, you've got an option to upgrade the quality of compressed music. This you might find works or doesn't work for you. I actually find it does on some of my tracks. Clear audio is another option as well, but when you do that, it takes off the option here for the sound effects. So you've got op options for the equalizer as well, and you've got a clear bass part here to enhance the bass, which is quite nice. You've also got a surround sound as well, so you can adjust different types of surround sound and again, that's uh, quite nice to have the different options there from concert hall to club to studio. And you've also got S4 front surround, puts, makes the speakers sound a bit more spacious when using the loudspeaker side of things. So that's the actual options. I'm now going to talk about the actual headphone quality with different headphones so we can actually see what we think sounds the best. Right. So in terms of headphones, you've got quite a good choice of headphones. The amp on this is fairly decent. The stereo speakers aren't particularly loud, but are very clear. So that's something to bear in mind. If you've got a pair of, take Bluetooth first, if you've got a pair of Sony Bluetooth headphones, they should have LDAC written on them. If they do, it means you can get a higher res quality of Bluetooth. And I'd definitely recommend pairing these with a pair of Sony Bluetooth headphones. Works very well. The nice thing about this, it does have its own music app as well. So you can do the track ID and all that razzmatazz. It works very well. Now, interesting, if you have a pair of Sennheiser Momentums, the nice thing is these sound really, really nice with the Sony. You could try using the DSEE to upscale the uh, compressed music files if you want. I actually quite like the clear audio setting and sometimes turn that off just using the graphic equalizer and you can base the boost as well, the base level. And it, there are so many different options. You really are gonna get the sound that you like, but these Sennheiser Momentum in-ears work very well. Something else that I've got, which I quite like the sound of, was the um, Optima New Force. Um, these are the, what are these? The NE8Ms. Um, these sound really nice as well. So they were quite good. But what about using, um, say, a DAC? Well, this is the um, Audio Quest Dragonfly Red, and it was putting in some sort of distortion, like sounds when I had it connected. And you do need a little USB connector that you plug that bit in first, and that bit goes into the Type-C connection there. So I actually don't recommend using um, a USB DAC with this. It has a headphone jack anyway, so what more do you want? But interesting, if you want to go to something like a 32 ohm pair of headphones, Sony nice uh, MDR 100 AAPs, these sound 
particularly good as well with this, with all the different custom settings. Personally, I quite like the clear audio setting on this. Very, very nice. But if you want to go bigger, more powerful headphones, I would say your best option is to go up to perhaps a 50 ohm, but no more, perhaps 50-ish, 50, 60, 70 ohm headphones. Wouldn't go any further. These are the Sennheiser HD598. Again, these sounded really well, were, were driven fairly well by this. This isn't a bad phone if you like your music and you have a fairly sort of semi-efficient to efficient pair of headphones, lots of different sound tuning options. So from an audio point of view, if you're into music, it's good quality as well. Certainly have definitely got this part right. I would say this is nice. It's not at the LG V20 level, but it doesn't matter. It will work for most people and uh, there you go. So don't forget to check out my main review of the phone plus my camera, detailed camera review. This is Gavin from gavinsgadgets.com. Any questions, ask below, always answer them. Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe and catch you guys soon.